Alright, today's describing event is one that many people are familiar with because it's gained a lot of uh, popularity with a whole episode on Mythbusters and with a number of YouTube videos where people have made fancy little courses uh, what's to happen almost like in the old days and use marbles to do these little trip courses with different things. Um, but what I have here, for those that aren't familiar with it, is a box of Mentos mints and a can of Diet Coke. And you ask the kids to predict what will happen when you drop the Mentos in. And it's uh, oh my to watch the reaction. Now, this is all the larger I will do in an indoor experiment. If you want to really have fun, go outside use a two-liter bottle, okay? because it will shoot fairly oh high. But I don't want to put too many people in the splash zone <laughs> when you do this. Now, when you look at this, the majority of this is gone. And yes, there's some foam still there left, but if you look, there's less than a fourth of the liquid remaining in here. So it's a really violent reaction. Now, here's the thing that I want you to know about this, even if you've seen this before. There's a lot of myths or misconceptions about how this works, and you'll see it posted wrong on a lot of internet sites. Um, that's why, what we'll, actually we'll talk about that in a minute. That's why I uh, really recommend you see the Mythbusters episode on this, because they really do the science uh, and the tests behind this. But when kids see the fizzing, fizzing is typically a sign of what? Okay, a chemical reaction. It's normally one of the signs of a chemical reaction, a gas being created. But think about this. This pop already has a gas in it, right? <coughs> what gas is embedded in it? Carbon dioxide. Okay. Carbon dioxide is in solution in this beverage. So it's not a chemical reaction, but a physical change. Okay, and here's what's happening. Mentos have microscopic pores all over the outside. You can't see them, you can't feel them. But because they are there, they make the outside very porous. And what does that do to surface area if you have a lot of little pits and grooves? Almost like a sponge. What's that do to the surface area? It increases it. What that does is increase the, the, the speed at which it will dissolve on the outside. So what's happening is when I drop those in, the outside immediately dissolves much faster than any other type of candy or um, you know, object that you could put in there. When it d goes into the solution, it has to push out what's already in the spaces between those liquid molecules. And what's in between those spaces? carbon dioxide gas. So there's no place for the carbon dioxide gas. So immediately, all the carbon dioxide is expelled up out of the thing, and since it's so violent, it pushes and pulls all the liquid with it as it goes up. So there's no trick to it. I mean, it's still tastes good to drink and everything. A little flat, but still so there's a little bit in there. But um, it's a physical change, not a chemical change. Just keep that in mind, because you'll hear a lot of kids say that it's a chemical change. Well, what would happen if you put a mentos in your mouth and you drink real quick? Uh, nothing. It'll foam in your mouth a little bit, but it won't oh. <laughs> <laughs> projectile foaming out of your mouth. That's a good question. Now, if you just held your mouth open and had somebody pour it in, I don't recommend it. It might be a difference. We should try that one. Yeah. Yeah, that was the whole Mikey thing. 